Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a video on five things you can do to speed up your workflow in Reason so that you can work faster, make better music, and so that you can spend more of your time creating and less of your time stumbling around in the menus. Now, I will say that workflow is probably Reason's biggest weak point, and ultimately there's not a ton we can do to get around some of these bigger bottlenecks, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tricks for getting the most out of what we're working with here. So the first trick is really not a trick at all, but it's just to stay organized. Um, you'll notice here that I have color-coded all of my instruments. Um, I have my buses one color. I have everything named clearly. Uh, it really does help when you have an easy way to see what everything is. Like if we hop over to the sequencer, right, you can still quickly see what things are because of the color coding. Um, so that would be my first tip, is just to take the time to actually get organized. The second would be to use all of the features on Reason's Mixer to <laughs> help you speed along the process. So use the built-in ability to do parallel channels. You see I've got parallel drums right here. It didn't take me more than a second to set up. I just went right-click. Well, you can't create a parallel to a planet parallel, but right-click and hit Create Parallel Channel. Boom. Quick way to make instruments hit harder. I use the buses. I just go boom, drum bus, or create a new bus. And that way, if I need to do anything to adjust my drums, I only have to control one knob as opposed to balancing everything by itself. Uh, if I want to apply reverb, for example, I just put it a little bit on the whole thing. Or I could put it just on the snare, whatever I want to do. Uh, so use buses, use parallel channels, and also use send effects. These are a wonderful time-saving tool uh, where you can uh, process multiple instruments on the same send channel. Uh, if you really dig all of these tools and techniques, by the way, I do have a free mixing template for Reason. There's a link to down below. download it below. Just click on that and it'll have you set up with everything you need to do to start recording in Reason. It is really helpful, fast, and it'll make your mixes sound better. So be sure to download that Reason mixing template for uh, your better mixes. Okay, so now let's go to the next tip. And that is a partial tip, but you notice here on the mixer, we see sequencer and rack. If you click on this, it will take you to the exact channel on the sequencer. So if you want to like, if you know that your piano is off, you can, or if you know your bells are off, boom, you can go here and then quickly figure out which channel it is to edit. Or if you wanted to add an effect to your Rhodes piano, you click on rack and it pulls up the right channel as opposed to you having to scroll everywhere for it. It's a super handy tool. You'll notice that it exists on the rack view. It's right here in the rack view and right here in the mixer view. However, it is not on the transport view, which makes no sense other than the general fact that there are things like this in Reason that don't make sense. So that's the next tip for speeding things up. And that is number three. Number four, big one, learn your hotkeys. Hotkeys save so much time. You can do things as easy as paging through all your windows or tabbing through the rack. You know, you can uh, basically probably 50 or 60, per you can start and stop recording. You can, you know, quantize. There's like 50% of the stuff you do in Reason you can do just with hotkeys. It speeds everything up massively. Um, if you have trouble learning your hotkeys, you can read the ma uh, manual. It's a good place to go. Uh, they also sell these little like silicon overlays that go right on top of your keyboard. That's how I learned the hotkeys. Uh, it was way faster because just like I would look down at it and then pretty quick, you know, within a few weeks, you pretty much have everything memorized and you don't need to refer to it anymore. I'll put a link to one of those down below as well. It really did speed up my process once I got one. So that's the fourth tip. And here's the fifth tip for a faster reason use. And that is to organize your sessions by nesting everything inside your insert effects. So all of these effects could theoretically be outside of the mix channel, but instead for simplicity and to make this way easier to scroll, I have 
put them all inside the mix channel. And then if I want to close it, it's just a simple little bar. If I want to open it and edit anything, it's all there. You can also add your instrument. I'm not going to hold down shift because I don't want to change the wiring. I'm just going to put the instrument in here as well. So now I have a collapsible mix channel, which we probably should instead call uh, Rose. I think it just got its name changed. Um, and that makes it super easy to navigate. You see now I've just got these narrow things to go through as opposed to massive scrolls. So I'll just un uh, expand it. Unexpand isn't a word, but uh, expand. Uh, just to give you a sense of what it would be like. So we're still going and going and going. Right? This long. And if you want to find something, it's really hard. But instead, if you just use this, and then if you're diligent about closing them each time, uh, it's even better. So that way you can quickly find what you want. Another kind of related tip to that is really that just that if you didn't know, there are actually multiple racks here. One, two, but there's an infinite number on the other side. So we could put all of our drums, for example. Did you see how that little... that When that shows up, if you drag it to the right... Um, it'll create it over here. Oops. Okay. Did we lose our overheads there somehow? I think we did. Okay. So just move this up and this can be a really easy way to kind of free up some real estate. So now I've got all my drums over here. Um, for example, I could have all my leads in one section and you could organize it by bus. That's one way of doing it. Um, so hope this was super helpful. Hope these five tips will help speed up your reason workflow uh, and help you make better beats faster and be a little more creative with everything. Don't forget to download that reason template. It'll help you mix and master and it employs a lot of these techniques already. And if you are having trouble with the hotkeys and integrating them into your workflow, please do check out that little handy cover. It will speed things up remarkably. Thanks for watching. Bye. And the minute I hit stop recording, I thought of two more bonus tips that really do help me be a lot more efficient with my workflow in Reason. The first is the ability to color any clip in Reason. So, for example, I could right click on this and change the clip color to bright red. And I use this as like a note to myself that maybe something needs to be fixed. Like maybe I don't have time today or the energy or whatever to go back and like fix that. I've done all my recording, but I haven't cleaned up my MIDI or my audio. But if I just mark it red, I know, hey, tomorrow I can fix it or the next day. So that's one really easy way. And you can come up with a whole system of colors for yourself, right? Uh, especially if you've got like multiple takes and you're trying to figure out which phrases you like, things like that. The other one is, let's say you want to work on a section. Well, if you've got a clip, you can right click on it and say set loop to selection. And now that will automatically set the loop points there. And then you can quickly, you can also set loop to selection and start playback. Makes it really easy to get to exactly where you want to be in the song. All right, now this really is the end. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.